Welcome to Hypothesis. So Hypothesis is an app which allows you to annotate a website um, any just by logging in to their program. So just to this is their main page and so this is where I went um, first they have a little intro video that you can watch um, they have an install so that you can install an extension on Chrome which I did and which is very useful but you can also just paste a link in here and then jump onto it to annotate um, so all pretty straightforward you have to create a login you can see that I'm logged in for it to be able to really work or do anything um, but now I want to show you how it works so this is one of our class web pages right here and as you can see it just sort of looks like your basic ordinary web page but you'll notice up in the corner there's this little um, box that shows that there's annotations on the page so when I click it and hopefully it'll become visible okay there it is so now when I click it it um these things become visible because I'm logged in and so what do I do is if I hit this little if I scroll down the page with the annotations are you can see stuff that I've highlighted and anyone who logs in and goes to this website will be able to see these unless I make them private um, and I think there's a new feature added that you can just share it with a certain group which is great for teachers so here you can see um, this is our page that we looked at about the differences between goals and objectives and I was looking at it a lot for our group project in week six. So here was my highlighting of um, the difference between goals and objectives and if you want to see what I said about it, you can click, oh, you can click here and it quotes the section that I looked at and then gives me my response and here I was reading further and I was just sort of trying to put my thoughts on paper about the difference this was goals versus objectives and down here I'm talking about objectives versus outcomes and then down here I'm not sure if I can yeah there it'll jump to it so one thing that's slightly annoying is that I can't see the entire page um, with the annotations on but what this part of the page is but luckily it's easy to I think this is creating annotations um, I can just click on the page and go back on it and so this are this is a I'm also hyping up this website this is examples of goals objectives and outcomes and it shows a goal an objective and how it's reformulated as an outcome and I chose the one about English because that's my topic that I'm most familiar with that's where I'm a subject matter expert and um, I highlighted these two boxes with an objective that they turn into an outcome and I found myself um, having a lot to say here about um, how just like a memory about how I learned to move from objective to outcome and so I shared some of that memory on here I'm happy to have any of you guys look at it so that's how it works since it says public up here and I could oh I it's a screencast so I can do an annotation all right so I can do one right now um, so I'm looking at this and um, I want to annotate this I can just I think I can just highlight it but then I can also annotate it and I think it turns a darker yellow and I can say uh, what an interesting objective for an engineering course yeah the idea that students are functioning in teams is sort of an interesting thing so I wanted to note that down and then I just click post to public and there it is so anyone who's logged in goes to this website will be able to see it I think this makes things uh, turns it off so I don't have to look at it if I don't want to nice and I can turn it back on right there cool so one really cool and sort of powerful part that you can get out of this is so this is an article um, about 10 ways to annotate with students and I think it's an awesome article and I recommend you guys all to read it um, but um, when you go on the page now that I'm logged into hypothesis I can see up here 
that there's 22 comments on this and I saw all these highlights on it but all of a sudden now if I click on one um, for example they're referencing a poem in this I click on this and I can see a link to the poem well that's cool okay so here I go and um, I wonder what this one's about so this is just sort of a comment someone made. The social and media richness brings both pluses and minuses. Some form of editorial control might be of use if not already available. So that's what that guy thinks. So that's what some random person thinks who's commented on this. Um, and people, this is a really interesting quote, I think, about the idea of students as producing knowledge. And so someone wrote back and sort of started a conversation with that little point. I love the way this guy uses pictures, by the way. Um, and then, you know, and so the text just becomes very lively for me. You know, you can see what is it that people are saying, and uh, there's links embedded in the text. Um, so this one is a pro tip that someone gives about how to use um, tag technology inside, and I think she's just sort of highlighting that for herself. Um, you know, and so further down here, um, you know, someone's giving feedback about that kind of functionality. People are asking questions about it. Um, so in general, I have a lot to say about annotation and why it's useful pedagogically and how it can make a big difference in the way people talk about things. And I wrote about that in my blog post that I'll also share. Um, but this is just how you use this tool. And um, so right here, for example, I think it's so cool. One way of using this is asking students to come up with images and videos to respond to a text, which I think is such a cool pedagogical or andragogical idea. Um, and so if I wanted to respond to this very simply, all I would have to do is um, highlight this, say, um, this is such a cool idea. Thanks for the provocative examples. And then post to public. So now I am part of this conversation. So, as you can see, I'm sort of like still zipping around. It just it creates an interesting way to interact with the text. Also, I love this artist who makes these different kinds of books. Um, but I'm getting kind of off topic. The point here is that. Uh, it it changes it can change so you can use it in two ways as a teacher you can use it as a way to sort of sponsor or start a discussion with your class um, and if you're using it as sort of a community member it's a really interesting way to look at a reading or a website and be involved in a community as you do it I think the ramifications of this are really pretty powerful as you start to explore the way that people can um, read and work together and this technology is pretty seamless the one thing I would say is I tried it on a mobile device on an iPad and it sucked pretty hard so hopefully that's its next step in its evolution um, and I can turn it off if I want to feel like I want a more private reading moment also so that's hypothesis again to sign up and they're also on Twitter and apparently they're pretty responsive um, so you can just search for them on Twitter and that'll be fine um, so that's the end of that.